you. So who's the real president of this country? Is it Joe Manchin or Joe Biden, Madam so Vice President? Come on, Charlemagne. I really, come on. I, it's Joe Biden. I can't no, tell no, sometimes. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. It's Joe Biden. And don't start talking like a Republican about asking whether or not he's president. Do you think Joe Manchin and, is and a problem? It's Joe Bi- and it's Joe, Bi- and it's Joe Biden. Not. And I'm vice president. And my name is Kamala Harris. A few years later. He's out. Do you think you might endorse Vice President Kamala Harris? Should she get the nomination? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know. Um. You know. I, I absolutely would endorse Vice President Kamala Harris. You know. I supported Kamala Harris in two thousand and you know twenty when she ran for president. You know, I was out there on the campaign trail with her. You know. Um. She was the only reason that I voted for the the Biden Harris ticket to begin with. And you know, we have yeah. our you know disagreements on air and off air. But I, I think that, you know, she is the perfect person, you know, to, 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 to be in these, to fight in these unprecedented times, right? Does Joe feel betrayed by any of that? Or does he understand that it was for the country also? I mean, look, he's going to speak tomorrow. Yeah. We'll hear from him directly. And I think he'll address whatever is on his heart. Like you said, he has a yeah. big heart. Yeah. Yeah. He understands <laughs> where people are. He understands uh, being, having done this. 36 years as a senator, eight years as vice president, and now almost four years as president. He gets it. He gets where we are as a a country. Let's not forget, there's a lot at stake. There's a lot at stake, guys. You're not kidding. Mm -hmm. Our democracy is at stake. A woman's right to choose and to make decisions on their own bodies at stake. You know, and and, and let me just... People's incomes are Incomes are at stake. stake. There's so much voting rights is at stake, and he gets that. I mean, let's not forget why he ran in the first place. In 2020, he decided to jump in. He didn't have to. Yeah. He decided to jump in because he wanted to really save the soul of, of this nation. Yeah. Yeah. Historic. He did definitely have to. That's who y'all popped up. That's who the puppet is. That shit was ridiculous. Wow, Listen, man. This dude, this is easy. We can control him. You know what it's like? That shit was ridiculous. It's like, this you is a perfect example. You for that Portnoy video? Ashley posted it. This is a perfect no, example. It. It's like if you let the students choose who they wanted the substitute teacher to be. <laughs> they gonna choose the most easiest to the students didn't pick it. The substitute teacher was handed this position. I, I can't believe she's handed this position. She was actually. handed this position. No one can oppose her because they know it's a losing campaign. They don't want to give up their seat. So whether she loses or wins, she just resumes in Biden's spot. So all the idiots going to say, all right, after the media lied to us about his competence and he just resigned for health reasons, we're going to believe and continue following this party. You're a damn idiot. You're a damn dummy. And, I, and I'm not trying to hate on anybody for their political opinions, but let's make a let's critically think about nah, that. I be hating on Every that. freaking Democrat <laughs> senator has propped Joe Biden up as healthy and mentally competent nah, just for him that. to <laughs> drop out from being not healthy and mentally competent. And now they endorse the VP who also lied about his health and competence. A whole bunch of thinking, So everybody just lied to your face and you still continue to trust him as this is the best choice for you. That's insane. Nah, that nah. is crazy to me. Yeah. That I is crazy. I was crazy. arguing with a friend the other day about this shit, man. So I just think like that's not a critical thought process there. That's said, just brother, my opinion. I'm not even. Uh, I'm just sad to say. I'm just one man. Some That's my like, opinion. I would never have a woman as a president. I'm not gonna say I do. I, I do probably agree with that, you know. But I don't even agree with that. If it was Candace, she. Well, okay. okay. That's was, why I said there's some exceptions. I think, I think, I think a woman, but someone VP like is Kamala, cool, no, but the, the the head honcho, someone like Kamala, absolutely I don't know, not, brother. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, absolutely not. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. You and some it, people saying they're okay with that. I'm just keeping it a hundred. A woman president. I think a woman VP makes sense, but a woman president. Yeah, it does like. I don't know how. I don't know how, how it looks. You just, know, America's back in them, just, so it's just, always going to look good. I just don't know how that makes sense. But in the history of America, we've never had one. I yeah. think there may be Someone like Kamala, a good reason know, for that. Kamala is cool. She Candace, like she go in there and she can intimidate like the room. You know I think Candace is a good VP. Candace going, mm, mm, mm. I think she'd be a good VP. A good president candidate? When has a woman ever made it that far besides Hillary Clinton? And she got, she didn't get the electoral college vote. Because they knew it was bullshit. She wouldn't get the black vote. Yeah, but it's even better. Too many people people are blinded by her her logic and her facts. The argument is that if she was to win, I think she would. But it's too many. That's what I'm saying. It's too many strong men, bro. Then we can go down the line. I just don't see. I just don't see. I just don't see. I'm just I keeping it a hundred, y'all. I'm just yeah, going. I'm nah. just going off facts. I don't see men in America going to vote for a woman president in droves. Yeah, it's just too many. Because there's too many good men, though. That's the thing, though. That's I the think the people but are some doing of them that now do it right out, of, now. out of pure idios- idiocy. Most of the ones this. They're, they're, right yeah, they're, they're idiots, we gonna see, man. They're, somebody told me, for instance, just got. They told me what seventy percent of, of black men are. 
Yeah, somebody just just named it. When I was arguing with somebody about that, they named a country and said, well, they're fine with a woman president. I said, brother, are they the United States of America? Well, their country's no. messed up right now. Exactly. Any, I, I don't know a good country. Yeah, come on, man. Okay, I got to do another rant here. And I'm going to get, hey, pizza man, stick to pizza. Hey, sports guy, stick to sports. People are sending that. Hey, shut up. You're dangerous. Ironically, I'm sure the same exact people who were so outraged when I think it was Laura Ingram's told uh, LeBron to shut up and dribble a basketball. They were so outraged by that. But now, when I'm talking, they don't like what I'm hearing. Stick to pizza. If you're an American citizen, you care about this country, you're always allowed to talk about what's going on in this country. So those people who are telling me, Democrats of all people, who are always the most intolerant, which is crazy, the extreme left, when they don't like what you're saying, it's suddenly shut up, no debate. So you shut up. Now, here's this rant. Again, I'm a libertarian. I'm very much pro-choice. I don't agree. I'm not religious, really, at all. So there's a lot on the right I don't agree with. But I fucking hate the left. I <laughs> fucking hate the extreme left. And they are reminding me why I cannot vote for them. Damn. And I cannot vote for Kamala. Because it's not even that they're trotting out Kamala now and they whacked Joe Biden just like I said they were going to. They trotted him out for the debate. The fact that they've hid for years that he was a head of lettuce from the American public. It's not that they go and say, hey, all these videos that the American people see of Joe Biden literally having a dementia moment and being out of it, deep fakes, not real. And then they just reverse course and literally force him to resign by threats. Who knows what they said to him behind doors or what package they came up with, Pelosi, Obama, Clooney, all pushing this old man down a flight of stairs. Forget all that. They did it fine. Damn. They hijacked democracy. Damn. No other way to say it. You know, Kamala, Damn. newsflash, ran for president in 2020. You know how many votes she got? Zero. Zero. She was so disliked and such a bad candidate, she didn't make it to the first fucking primary. Damn. And I guess she's never going to have to get a real vote That's because crazy. she's been handpicked on purpose by the people who have been running Joe for the last two or three Damn, years. Now they're going to try to run her and trot her out. It's disgusting. It's a hijacking of democracy. They knew Joe wasn't fit before, the and they waited. Fine. All that, fine. Take it with a grain of salt. For the Democrats, like a Rob Reiner. This is the tweet I saw of Rob Reiner that just sent me off. Democracy is saved. Kamala's running. And all these people now, Kamala, AOC, you just said it was a coup three days ago, AOC. Now, Kamala, Kamala. The Democrats and the left, the way they shit on our face Damn. and tell us it's 80 and sunny is so infuriating. Just admit you hijacked democracy. Just admit you don't care fucking Mussolini or a head of lettuce was running against Trump. You hate him so much, mm -hmm. you're willing to trample on democracy, steal the vote from the American public, the most him. Su supposedly important right an American has, the right to vote. You have stolen it from the Democratic Party. You have said you don't get to choose who runs for president. We do. A group of elite, small people are going to handpick and shove down your throat who you vote for. No, Just admit that. But this democracy is, democracy is saved and America is saved. It's the lowest point for democracy in my lifetime. Just say you hate fucking Trump so much you're willing to do whatever it That's takes what it to beat Trump. And it doesn't matter what rights you steal, stomp on, Damn. or whatever you're willing to do. If you say that, at least I'll have an ounce of respect. Hmm. But this democracy is saved when you've absolutely done the worst thing for democracy. It's like we're a third world country now, Damn. the way this thing's being run. Wow. Just say that, and at least I can have an ounce of respect. And for all the people who are being, Dave, you're dangerous. Dave, shut up. Dave, what are you talking about? Stick to pizza, stick to boards. You know not what one person who has sent me a message or tried to explain, you know not what one of them has done? Explained how I'm wrong about any of it. Facts. They're just like, shut up, shut up, shut up. If one person can explain how anything I've said is wrong, I'll fucking 
buy you a fucking boat and beat your captain. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Wow. Damn. Damn. He went it's the in. fact that they hate Trump so much they don't care who is running against them. They voting for him. That's Facts. Crazy, he went in. Bro. It, and a lot of the Trump hate is just overblown nonsense from the fear mongering on the media. Yeah, because yeah. if you they really get the so facts, hard. people really love them. If bro, you get the facts, you love them. Bro, if you yeah, look they at they if, you just, so if, hard. if you just look at the facts on the stuff they use to slander him, like a quick Google search can dispel all the arguments. Like people just go off what the media says and take it blindly. That's, and they think they're informed. And and that's that in itself. Is probably the biggest problem. That's literally their them. arguments. Though. You should sue media. every company. Yeah, you should, bro. It's literally that their argument is media arguments, like the, the the people pushed on them, bro. That's literally no, every exactly single argument, is. bro. Exactly so that is. proves that it's the elites, bro. I really think it, that's what it is. No, it bro. is. Who you think the elite is? Uh, no, I don't know. Not people with money. Obama. No, Obama Obama. Obama. That big. <laughs> it's just I don't know, man. It's probably in the circle. You know, it's some people out here. We Man, like, and there's some people like just go watch Scandal when they get in a little circle and they said we're gonna read the election. That's like the type of people. Obama, the Oprahs of the world. Obama's in the you know. It's uh, probably people who don't even know their name or their face, probably. and they make calls. I think they, Obama's it's China. Making, it's I China. Really, it's on him, whatever he I said. think Obama's making calls. It's China, bro. They're making some. Of them. Obama might be an offensive coordinator. Because it just has the fact that y'all, okay, all right. I don't think if he was winning this bad, bro, they would have tried to assassinate him, bro. That's how I know it's the elites, bro. Because yeah. it wouldn't have been a threat. There would have been no reason to. And then the fact that the Secret Service they lady thought, can't answer they questions, thought the, bro. Uh, the arrest would do it. Oh, this is the arrest would do it. No one to vote for him. Oh, wait. They're still voting for him? All right, all right. y'all. Time to uh, yeah. pull a hat, uh, rabbit out it's the hat. It's, still, it's, it's the Hail Mary right here. We like Trump just, said. It, Set up little Johnny. He took a bullet for democracy. I thought he was going to say, what have he done to democracy? I don't know. What have he done to democracy? <laughs> they, said, they, they, took, said, they said, I'm a threat to democracy. I, took a bullet I, took, I think that pushing the narrative that he's a threat to democracy and that our exactly democracy that. is at stake is also another thing it's that fear-mongering idiots. I just think like, I don't know, man. Like, Do people not believe in the other systems of government that you have to do to pass laws and legislation no, and don't. things to happen? Like, Everyone just acts like, as soon as Trump comes in, Project 25 automatically. They're going to have to vote on that. They're going to have to yeah. pass that. Like, you guys are actually not logically I, using your I, You brain. know what else is crazy? That, people, that, that, to me, is what it people is. People actually have argued with me and said that Trump's going to put us back in chains. That shit okay, is that's dumb. dumb. That's no, I got what's arguing. You know, like, people that say that this is a white supremacist ideology and it's going to just put the power back in their hand. How the hell is that good for America? It pisses me off because that's the truth, All the though. people that work and pay taxes like, that are not it, white. It's not feasible. How does that benefit anybody? They're not. They're just saying shit. They're fucking stupid. It's 2024. They don't even it's not that. gonna happen, guys. If you put them on a lot of Dexter tests, they would not pass. Let's logically, let's no, logically break this down and think about it. It's the truth. Like we we know the truth, you know, and it's like you telling us we wrong, basically. Did y'all see it's Trump's crazy. Michigan rally? Um, where he said, recently? "I don't know anything about Project 2025. Yeah. I don't know yeah. anything about it." Yeah, and people are going. I said, he's, oh, he's, li I said he's, this lying. Like, "He's lying." Oh my gosh! If it's not from the Trump administration, I ain't hearing it. Thanks. Boom. Bottom line, that's why I got a lot of really that's shit. By, 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 Byron ever said, bro, is like when he was getting on that heckler ass in um, Atlanta. Was like, bro, like, I just got the facts now, bro. That's just what it is. Like these people just don't have the facts. That's just, just that's what it the is. Bottom line, it's just that's what, what it we is. We always say they're misinformed. That's what it is. And they're then just they misinformed. say we misinformed. We lie. They're misinformed, misguided. No. No, misinformed and misguided. Lie, yeah, it is pretty scary that they're just throwing comments like that. I ain't gonna lie, that is scary. Like, they, they ain't do They had to do something, man. but I didn't think they were gonna do that. Y'all saw all the videos. I said they're gonna just ride with Like, the Republicans away. went through a full. But damn. A full system to be like, okay, well, but I don't. He doesn't have The debate the was so You're bad, done, they said we gotta sink the ship. 